So, hello guys, welcome back to Tag Team Esports. So, today we're going to discuss the Marine Effect. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, if you haven't seen my video, um, maybe a couple of days ago, which is the ultimate farming guide. So I um, brought up there regarding the marine. So now we will see um, and test and confirm the marine effect. So the test will help you to help you decide if you will invest in marine cards as well as to compute the actual benefits on your end. So I've prepared um, four tests for this one and you can see um, in, in this video um, all the loots that I will gain in those, in those tests. So, so the test um, is controlled again. So we have 10 minutes farm in the tri-joint map. Same party will be used with and without the marine cards. Um, the party will be um, auto-equipped, so I will not choose whether the members can one-hit the tri-joint or is in farm set. So, um, this will ensure that um, the average higher experience of every player. Not everybody can hire one-shot um, characters easily. Unless they have the already the alt for that. Okay, so let's move on with the test. So the first test is having a low service and um, without uh, having the marine cards. So I will fast forward every test so you can see um, how um, the character will farm. Then um, we'll check the loots in the end.
So as you can see, of course, the highest rate will be the high share with the uh, high item drop rate. However, um, please note that um, this is not purely about the powering coins because as you can see, we have three drops per map. This is not um, um, consistent every 10 minutes. Of course, you can get um, higher coins in the next 10 minutes or more or less something like that. But we can uh, ensure that um, the totals, so if you can compute the totals, for example, um, in test 1, that's 194 uh, loots, then multiply it by 6. After that, 33% um, chance of getting the pouring coin, so that will be your estimated pouring coins per hour. Okay, so um, the, the best, I think the best um, fact that we can get on this test is while comparing test 2 and test 3. So, um, for example, here in my uh, video, I have a low service which is around 180,000 uh, KBP. And that's um, not high enough to hire or to get people who can one-shot the tri joint. However, having the 69, uh, 69 plus 69 item drop rate, you can see a significant difference of the drop rate in comparison to a high service which can probably one-shot the tri joint without having the item drop rate. So that's around 137 loots more or less. Um, that's just an estimate loots per uh, 10 minutes so if multiplied by 6 that's 822 uh, loots per hour and if you multiply it by 33% that's around 250 coins per hour on the average so, so here you can see the effect of having a higher item drop rate which is probably better than focusing on just hi hiring a a full team with um, which can one shot the tri joint so um, after that um, of course we need to test um, if the bubble gum will still have an effect or will it stack on the marine cards so here's the video of that So um, this is confirmed that having the higher item drop rate plus the bubble gum will eventually will surely um, um, stack and will give you more loots. Okay. So, so for the tip, um, first you need to ensure that your main character can one hit the tri joint, even. Uh, with the marine cards because if you can if you immediately get the marine cards then your character can't one hit the trident then it will make um, it will just put down the performance so you remove all the cards then 
check if you can still one hit the tri joint if not um just buy enough marine cards to um at least get that one hit next step is multiple marine is better than having one marine which has a perfect stat so as you can see i i think i felt the effectivity of the marine cards when um it was up at, i think around 50 plus 50 item drop rate i can see the effect clearly so instead of uh, finding one perfect marine then um, trying to upgrade it um it, it's better to get uh, multiple marines then upgrade it to until 70 i think to get at least three to get at least item drop three because the item drop rate um plus here per 10 levels is around 0.5 however the scaling is 1.1 to 1.5 so you have around 20 percent to get the perfect stat so it's really hard to get that one uh, next tip in order for you to get the permanent uh, bubblegum mode which is 100 percent or one plus 100 item drop rate so you need at least 20 marine cards with plus 5 uh, item drop rate or 24 with around 4 4.1 or 4.2 so in my case um i think i will add more marine cards in the ring maybe prob probably uh, remove the sprint ring and change it to uh, sabas ring for more attack because if i remove the osiris i can't i will not be able to one shot the tri joint anymore that's a decent um that's a big difference in attack around uh, 30 percent more or less 30k when you um try to perfect the marine i suggest you get any marine card and uh, perfect it from level 1 to 60 that will guarantee you at least five um, 5 item drop rate at level 120 also because we we have a lot of a level 10 to level uh, 40 cards for some reason because it's not being used um, really not being used because of the uh, success rates so I think it's best to get the perfect on the early stages rather than getting the perfect on level 90 above the last question here is that why should we invest in the marine cards? So, I know people will suggest that instead of investing in marine cards, why not focus on building your or perfecting your current gear and stats or equip? Well, that's one path of this. However, um, you need to make sure that um, you consider uh, the next update. Because as of the moment, I think um, probably the next uh, big update will be the fifth uh, job change. And we all know that having the next job will surely um, change the meta. For example, we can clearly see now that um, one of the meta characters are the uh, Wanderers. From job level 100, I, from job level 1 to job level 139, Wanderers are really bad at PvP or even on other, um, other modes of the game. However, once they've hit the uh, Wanderer at level 140, you can see the power spike there. So we can't know for sure which job will be the meta on the, on the fifth job. However, um, if if you are still building your character now um, to get even with the current meta and when the next job update um, comes up then your uh, build will be not not that you useful anymore so if ever you have um, built this one the marine uh, farm set you will have a sustainable farm of nyang vine so this will allow you to buy um, shadow cards or shadow gears um, in the daily uh, 
in the daily boxes. So because of the excess niyang vine you can get from the pouring box as well as if you've hi hired your alts, you can probably buy this um, daily or every two days. Next is you can open advanced, uh, uh, of course, advanced accessory box or job weapon box, which can get you or give you a uh, five uh, star non craftable gear. You can also rerun the dungeons, of course, for the, uh, the fell rock, so you can get this one, or even upgrade as well as your um, service. Also, um, since the Nyang Vine is so high or a sustainable Nyang Vine, um, you can build up um, enough Nyang Vine um, to be ready or to get ready for the next events with Nyang Vine. For example, the Gacha Coins, um, you can um, probably get 4 um, 5 star there if you have uh, around 20k Nyang Vines if you've um, farmed properly or uh, hoard the Nyang Vines. So there are many benefits of having this farm set as well as it will be useful until um, maybe forever because as I can see um, Trigent will be the map which everyone will farm eventually even if at higher BP. So I think um, the other two maps will be um, service dependent. So lower service um, can really help you there. Um, hopefully it will be as, as much challenging as I would expect. Okay, so that's it guys for this content. Hopefully you have um, have the gist if whether you can invest or you will push through with the marine, marine um, set or not. And also you can see the benefits there and will probably be hype on how much you can farm after you've um, prop, uh, build this set. Okay guys, so that's it. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. You can join our Labyrinth group in Facebook. And, and hopefully you will also uh, support once uh, we've streamed um, Labyrinth. Okay, thanks.